right. Speaking of, and we talked about this earlier, another international pay-per-view. It's Bash in Berlin coming in, Ber uh, Berlin, Germany, August 31st, 2024, Mercedes-Benz Arena. That felt like an ad read, but I was just reading the graphic. Um, I think that the we're talking AEW, Impact, MLW, WWE, North American companies, CML, AAA, GCW, you're insane for not having pay-per-views overseas. I mean, look what AEW did. Now, some people are like, oh, they, they didn't actually have 2 billion people. They had 1.5 billion. <laughs> but in reality, they made a lot of fucking money. Every time WWE goes yeah. overseas and makes a pay-per-view, it's a lot of money. Now, I think Raws and SmackDowns and Dynamites and Impacts, the show, should stay in North America. Just money-wise, filling up, you know what I mean? But I think almost all pay-per-views, especially, you know, if you're on a streaming service, you should be going overseas. That is just, A, the fan base fucking loves it, and B, you're going to go. You know what I mean? Um, I, I have a bunch of friends. All. I, 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 have, I have a bunch of friends that live in Germany, and they were just pissed. They're like, the WWE never comes. Nothing ever matters. They're not even on fucking television. Japan, they just recently got a TV deal. That's why, like, a lot of fans, when you go to Wrestle Kingdom and hang out with people from Europe and Asia and Australia and around the world, then you realize that it is not as international as they advertise in America. We're like, we're international. <laughs> like, Germany's like, the fuck you are. Japan's like, the fuck you are. But... You can do major pay-per-views, make major money, and sign television rights deals. Um, and Abima wants to have a G1 or a King of the Ring pay-per-view. Obviously, they're not going to have a long G1, but they want to have a tournament of WWE in Japan. And television rules here. You know, you get on television, bam, you're set. Did I mention I was on television this week? Um, <laughs> But yeah, I just think maybe have Mania and the big four, you know, or we'll say any company. Uh, you ha have your big two or four pay-per-views in, in America. The rest of them should be overseas. And you should be making Bash in Berlin's King of the Ring of Japan, you know, King of the Kaijus. I don't fucking know. But you should be doing something where you got to make the international audience just want it. And not only that, but... They've been planning this for a while. They got some sniffles. And don't fake the funk. Don't tell Americans you're international. Really be international. And the way with the streaming services are now, hell, dude, you can have a pay-per-view almost every week. So I, I know I do live overseas, and it would be great, but I've talked to a lot of people from around the world, and the big bash on WWE was that they're an international company. What the fuck they are. And Impact had some of their best shows. So AEW had some of their best shows in the UK. WWE's had some great shows in Europe, but for some reason don't go enough. Impact's had some great shows in Europe. GCW had uh, some good shows here at Cork and Hall and Shijuku Face. I just think if you want to say you're a world champion, international champion, or you're an international company, you should go to overseas more. I Saudi Arabia agrees. Saudi Arabia definitely agrees. Did you see Vince McMahon? I, this wasn't part of the segment, but did you see the Vince McMahon quote? No. He basically told Saudi Arabia, this is our home. This is WWE's home. It will always be our home. Nice. Vince is like, hell yeah, give me that Saudi money. I mean, Middle East is going to pay a lot. No, we're going to pay a lot for events. I mean, yeah. pretty much it goes. I but mean... There, there are there are ramifications. There, there are side prices with that that make it where it's a debate if you want to actually put events on in say Saudi Arabia. Yeah, uh, they have, they have Crown Jewel coming around the corner. But here's the thing, like. But I think like touring Europe, doing doing like a show, some a, more Canada than just Winnipeg, uh, doing Japan, all of these could be Australia and really New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at how excited, like, some of the wrestlers are to get to go wrestle in their home countries. Oh, definitely. I've been getting ads about, I think, Kofi Kingston's going back to his home country. Ah, uh, Jamaica. 
<laughs> I didn't want to say Jamaica. It's not Jamaica. I but, know, but that was just giving. Yeah, I know. Oh, man, that's so stupid and funny. But yeah, so just more more international shows. And the world, this is... Oh, God. I hate the fact that I have to describe this. The world is getting flatter. That is not a flat earth thing. That the is a globalization. Flat. That's a globalization nope. Don't fucking Don't sail, time. guys, in a straight line. Oh, You'll fall Christ. off the Reed earth. Friedman. No, because, like... Back in the day, you'd be like, oh, the world's getting flatter, meaning, oh, you can work from anywhere. There's internet. It's an international. That's what that word, that's what it meant. Nah, and no, you no. guys For anyone listening, yeah, for yeah. anyone listening who doubts that whether or not the world is flat, just think about this. How do you travel between continents? How do you, how do you travel between continents? How have you ever done it? By plane, right? How do you know that plane's not just in some green screen room? And you're not just being tricked into thinking that you're traveling when in reality you're just loading into a different simulation on the same flat earth. It's turtles all the way down. <laughs> turtles all the way down, baby. Did we get too fucking nerdy? I yeah, think we're we did. All, we're all in the dream of a floating turtle in space. There you go. And as far as uh, Saudi Arabia and all that stuff goes, there is baggage with that. With that said, you're hoping it's it's not true, but you're hoping that when you go to these countries, you are opening it up and trying to do good things and starting a you're conversation. Not. Uh, that's what you're hoping for, though. Yeah, let's just reiterate, though. You're definitely not. <laughs> uh, all you're doing is whitewashing or sports washing their whole uh, their whole thing. That's all you're doing. Yeah. You're just helping them take a slight, uh, take a, a wet rag to some blood. Good job. That's the dark reality, but the positive light. That's the reality. Yeah. Yeah, but the positive light that might be a little bit more hope. Positive hope is that it's very they're profitable. trying to trying to oh. open up relationships. That's the positive hope. Yours That's is the dark not. reality. Is there, but the positive the hope positive is The positive hope is they're going to give you a lot of money. No, that, that that's kind of part of the reality. Yeah. <laughs> the the money the money comes from ignoring the positive hope. <laughs> the money comes from you're like oh that positive hope yeah let's get that the shit out of here so that's not bad not bad plus as a guy that only watches pay-per-views i want to see more pay-per-views baby i want to see more pay-per-views so there you go watch crown jewel bash it berlin and all the rest i don't know you don't have to watch crown jewel i do find it weird though one more thing and i, I used to talk about this with rent and review i do find it weird that People that take this stance of, I won't watch Crown Jewel, but I'll still watch the rest of the company. I, I, I understand of, hey, Crown Jewel is not that big a deal. I don't care. I understand that take. I but understand I the take is... Just because it doesn't have any exciting matches planned. That's true. But I, I, I never... I understood I'm never going to watch WWE again because of this. I'm like, wow, you stand for something. I, I don't give a shit. Fuck it. I'm just going to watch it. You stand for something. But the mix, I don't understand. I'm just not going to watch Crown Jewel, but continue supporting him. Like, what the fuck? What? The fuck? what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the putting a fucking steps. cup. It's like putting a cup of water on fucking a forest fire. <laughs> it's, like, it's baby steps, man. You're doing nothing. Look at you, man. You're doing nothing. <laughs> 